Good afternoon, everyone, and on behalf of Father Walsh, Father Joe Walsh, Father Tom Walsh, Father Joe Finn, this is not an Irish mafia down here. <laughs> Welcome, everyone, to St. Mary's downtown, and as I was talking to Father Walsh as we began the Mass, it's always a joy to me to come down here, begin this journey of Lent with you here at St. Mary's, the old cathedral, uh, where Many priests were ordained years ago before we built the new cathedral in, in 1970 or 65. And it is kind of going back in the history of the diocese. So it's a great joy to begin this journey of Lent with all of you and to receive our ashes together as we begin this season uh, of Lent. And uh, 40 days, you know, which is uh, not a long time, but it's long enough for us to do something beautiful for God, kind of get recalibrated, rebooted, you might say, to refocus ourselves on the important things, the permanent things, um, grace, life in the spirit, sinfulness. And to make these 40 days different, to kind of use this time that God gives us to really um, deepen our relationship. You know, the modern definition of man is homo sapien, and it's really kind of a new definition. It came out of the Enlightenment period of rationalism in the 18th century. But a more ancient means the wise man, and I don't know how accurate that is, because most of us aren't that wise. Uh, but that's what it stands for, homo sapien. But a more ancient definition is homo viato, which goes back to the Greeks. And that definition is man on a journey. And it comes from the ancient definition anthropos, where we get the anthropology, which means upwardly turning. That we are creatures that can look up, and the rest of the creatures look down. The animal grazes, man gazes. Animals graze, man gazes. He looks up because man has a destiny, a higher destiny. He's looking up in the stars. And we're on a journey. <coughs> and Lent is all about that journey. The great uh, 19th century Irish poet, playwright, Oscar Wilde, who's famous for many expressions. The one I like is, I can resist anything but temptation. <laughs> and Oscar Wilde lived life of debauchery. He was a very simple <clears throat> man. But in the end, he repented of his life. He died in the arms of the church. And he used to speak about his own situation and all of our situations. Because we're all sinners, right? We're all sinners. He says we're all in the gutter. We're all lying in the gutter. And he actually died in the gutters of Paris at the very end of the next century. We're all lying in the gutter, but some of us are looking up at the stars. Some of us are looking up at the stars. And I thought that was a beautiful way to describe our journey, that we're looking at back at the stars. And today we begin this journey together. Joel, first reading, calls us back with beautiful words calling us back to God, saying, rend your hearts, not your garments. Return to me with your whole heart, for I am a gracious and merciful God, slow to anger and kind and rich in kindness. That's our God, slow to anger and rich in kindness. He wants to come. He wants us to come. He wants to forgive us. He wants to be merciful. He wants to put us back on the right road again. He knows we've screwed. He knows we're sinners. He knows we've messed up our lives. That we're wounded creatures. And he calls us back. And that's what the season of Lent is all about. And we go back to God three principal ways. Fasting, almsgiving, and prayer. Fasting, almsgiving, and prayer. Why do we do that? And what is that? Well, fasting is exercising discipline over our passions. Because left to ourselves, we become slaves of our wants and desires. We eat when we want to eat, 
know, we <coughs> derive pleasure from one pleasure. We are capable of disciplining those passions and saying no. And when we do that, we fast, like today is a fast day and abstinence. When we do that, we exercise that quality that only humans have. Freedom. Freedom to resist things. And so the church invites us to fast, to deny ourselves. And that's a good thing. You know, baseball players are gathering down in Arizona and Florida now, and they're disciplining themselves during spring training, getting ready for the season. And that's what Lent is for. Getting ourselves back in shape, fasting, almsgiving. What's that? Well, that's giving of being generous, not just with our money, you know, that's a good thing, but also with our time, coming out of ourselves, helping those who are in need, being sensitive to those who are suffering, especially the poor. Those neighbors around us who need uh, an encouraging word. You know, to, to be mindful of the other persons, not just our own wants and needs. That's what alms do. Fasting, disciplining ourselves, alms giving, being generous, and more than that, <coughs> prayer. Because prayer is all about relationships. If we don't talk to God and we don't listen to God, then our friendship with God grows cold. It's just like our family and friends. If we neglect our family, we neglect our friends. We just kind of go about and get caught up in our work and our things. Those relationships begin to grow thin. And it's the same way in prayer. So the church gives us this opportunity uh, to rekindle our prayer life, stations of the cross on Fridays, maybe going to daily mass tomorrow, you know, kind of rekindling that life of prayer through the devotions the church gives us during the season of Lent to build that relationship up, to strengthen that friendship up. Maybe it's gone cold over the past year. So we have these 40 days to help us strengthen that relationship because it's all about relationships. Everything's about relationship. And prayer is the way we grow the relationship. But we talk to him and listen. So fasting, almsgiving, prayer is the way we, as people <coughs> on the or as people on a journey, go back to God. And that's what Lent is all about. Going back to God. Going back to the one who waits for us, who's Rich in mercy and slow to anger, who wants us to be with him forever in heaven. So that's where we're headed. That's where we are to go to start work. We're all on a journey to eternal life. And we need to be attentive to that journey. Because at the end of, of Lent, we celebrate the Paschal Holy Rose. <coughs> the passion, the death, and resurrection of Jesus, who saves us from ourselves, who saves us from ourselves, promises us eternal life. Amen. <coughs>